So now let's consider the scenario where we want to share data with an outside source or an outside company, outside user, basically somebody who just doesn't have the licensing or software for 3D experience, but we still want to share the data with them. Now, we can share screen grabs and screenshots and other 2Ds like we saw within the platform, but with the 3D XML, which is the native format for 3D experience data, this offers you some extra options. So with your 3D XMLs, you can download a free 3D XML player. And what this is, is just a standalone software that allows you to open your data just like 3D Play in a lightweight format. It's going to be most similar to your 3D Play. So we see here we have our data. We have the ability to go and rotate it around. And also our typical viewing tools are still here. We can change between our different shadings and some also some rendering options that we can choose from. And we can also see our functional tolerancing annotations or our 3D annotations. And we still have the ability to toggle through those. Now, along with that standalone player, the 3D, the 3D XML player software allows it so that these 3D XMLs can now be compatible with Microsoft products. So not only can you take this data, send it to someone, and they can open it with the 3D, MX 3D XML player, but they can also, you can also take this part and place it into a PowerPoint presentation or Microsoft document and send it along with those documents so you can go and view that data within a presentation. So we see once I drag and drop this part, it shows up as a Dassault Systems logo. And I'll go full screen real quick. And I'll expand this out to take up more of the screen. We'll see once I double click it, it goes into my part data and loads up that part for us. And once again, so it's the same viewer as the lightweight standalone software. But now it's just embedded into our Microsoft applications. And one final note I'm going to make on the 3D XMLs and 3D experience and sharing within the platform and also externally. So for the users that don't have a license that you want to export data to and share with, you do also have the option to create a guest account for those users where they'll have temporary and limited access to specifically the, only the data you share with them. So it'll allow them to get onto the platform similar to how we we're looking before through web apps and do similar probing and viewing and also markups.